Fuji Wonderland Festival. Well, Fuji Wonderland Fez. Fez. Yeah. We're on the racetrack, boys. If you couldn't tell already, we're at Fuji Speedway. The racetrack's up there. And uh, today is Fuji Wonderland Festival, or Fuji Wonderland Fez, as it says on the brochure. And basically what that is, is a bunch of cars from uh, all the Japanese cars, the Formula One cars, and all the races. So there's like more nice cars in the car park than there are in the actual event. I could literally spend a whole day at like look, Supra. We parked um, right in front of Arari. <laughs> There's a 32 GTR. I've uh, got an S15 over here. Oh my god. Oh, that's so nice. A little bit dirty, but so nice. Here's a 34 GTR next to another 34 GTR. We got a Lotus over there. Oh, another Supra. <laughs> this Woody is sick. It's got like mesh wheels on a Woody. Uh, another 32 GTR right there. So yeah, you can see that this car park, like I could spend a whole day in this car park. Should we go get the Hikoskas, Zach? Another 32 GTR. Dude, there are more nice cars in this one car park than in the whole state of Australia. Hakoska GTR. 32 GTR. Hakoska GTR. Ken Mary GTR. Ken Mary GTR. Hakoska GTR. 240Z. 240Z, yes. Hakoska GTR. Hakoska GTR. Hakoska GTR. Hakoska GTR. And another Hakoska GTR. This lineup of cars is literally the most insane thing I have ever seen in my life. Like, this is incredible to me. That's a whole lineup of GTRs and 240Zs. That's nuts. And then across the other side of the car park is a DR30 RS. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. So yeah, that's one car park and there's literally 18 of them. I can only imagine what's in the other car parks. We drove past a couple nice cars. Yeah, dude, I've seen like one of these in my whole life and here's like 12 of them lined up. Yeah, me too, that would be cool to know. But the I've never seen a Ken Mary in my life. Just never seen this many freaking GDRs. My panties so wet. Yeah, Defs would just like to appreciate how tough this 240Z is. So like, let's assume that all these are real and none of them uh, replicas, which I mean, I'm sure some of them are. May, there may be a real one, there may not be. Imagine if there was just a stack of more cars. Just like, oh. But if these are all real, you're looking at about how many millions of dollars worth oh, of cars do you reckon? Close to two million. Yeah, at close to two million dollars worth of cars just in that lineup. A couple of beauties in the car park across from us as well, like this Celsior. Very nice. What's he on? Uh, SSR Viennas, FD and a GTR right next to each other. We got another fair lady on fat one Tarnabies. Hey, GTR. Oh, look, GTR. Uh, cheeky McLaren. And another GTR. And an NSX. Dude, I've seen like, I, I think I've seen one in Australia. I've seen four in Japan, three of them driving on the streets so far. And this one. <laughs> The widest wide body Miata. <laughs> That's so sick. A dead stock, dead stock 86 Truno. <laughs> we found it. This caught our eyes as we were driving through the car park. Look at that. Jeez. Insanely nice. Fitment's on point on that one. Oh, look. Another GDR. <laughs> and don't forget the lifted Jimny boy. So this is one of the newest stages. I've never seen one this crazy before. <laughs> That's pretty cool. See, I don't really like the new stages, but these ones are so sick. 
Why? Yeah, he probably like doesn't care to be honest. Look at this. <laughs> Slammed Porsche. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. So they've got a bunch of ready and trust items here for sale. Toyo overalls. Um, yes. And next to that. The HKS GT86. All these are old Isuzu race cars and things. Who knew Isuzu had so many race cars? We found more cool race cars. So all the iconic uh, GTR race cars from over the years. Lots of these dominated Bathurst, which is sick, before getting banned because, you know, all-wheel drive and because Australia being the saltiest country of all time. Probably my favorite one is this HKS one. I love the livery and the design on it, it's so sick. And then obviously the, the CalSonic ones. A Mark III Supra race car. That's sick, two of them in fact. We're about to miss the racing so I'm hurrying up but had to look at this too. Cappuccino race car, that's pretty cool. No idea what this thing is, but it's also sick. Now to the racing. Got the Hukoska race cars down there. Also meanwhile we're standing in front of a whole lot more race cars. It's like a history museum and a racetrack of one. Solid like 10 minutes or so. Not sure what it is because I don't speak Japanese that well. All these girls are coming up with signs, so obviously something's about to happen. Oh, look at that. Old school Formula One cars. The back is skits, so it's kind of like a Mosso open wheeler. So yeah, it seems like we woke up a little bit late and actually missed all the like old school race cars. Which kind of sucks, but F1s are still pretty cool. <laughs> These ones just seem to not be racing today. That one is sick though. Group C and prototype cars. So we got the TS020 GT1, uh, Le Mans. This is sick. But pretty much all of them have bulk racing wheels. That's so sick. Skits. Oh, this one doesn't have bulk wheels, it has BBS meshies, bro. So here's an overview. Uh, the track goes right down there. It's pretty crazy. Why can't our cars be that loud? That would be so sick. I come every time. A 40 Brassy Heaty. Toyota Chaser. 
that's pretty nice. Why would you put Oz Racing wheels on a chaser? Razzy! This is sick. Uh, I think it's a Honda. Looks like an older Honda Civic. And the Hakoska. Dude. The Skyrine. Legit GTR. God damn, dude. On Wantanamis, external oil cooler, headlight covers, full stripped interior cage. This thing is so sick. So, at least you know you've seen one genuine GTR. Yeah. This looks like if you drove too fast and hit a bump, you just like take off like a kite, hey. How much air do you reckon it could get if you hit a bump at speed? It's a R382. It's just an R32, bro. GT Type R. Pretty nice, I see. You didn't see this before, but work tank, boy. Hey, look, the CRO ones that you almost got. Oh, god damn. Just real quick before we go down to the drift. God damn. Got a Rave store over there. Oh, Tome store. I didn't see that. And we got the new NSX there. We came over here to find drifting, but we ended up finding a cool spot to see the cars. Just down here at the drift cars now. We've got a Project Mew uh, stand up, Project Mew brakes. This looks so nice. Things a little muddy. Yes. What makes this experience ten times crazier is that Mount Fuji is like literally right over there. To you, it probably looks like clouds, but right there is Mount Fuji. That's massive. You can even eat lunch with a view of the race course and free drink bar. So while we were eating, the Group C cars have come out. So cute. Got a bride tent for uh, all your seat needs. All your bucket needs, boy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, dude, that tent one's sick. Yeah. Wood own. So like you can you can have this one. You can just drop you drop that in your car and I'll just take this one. And yeah. I'll just you know, it's pretty much like straight drop in anyway. <laughs> That's so sick. What event is complete without Pokemon, am I right? So, Autogloss bringing the goods. We got the Sarika. Fat as Sarika. Oh look, Chaser. Where's my car? Oh, there's my car. Almost looks the exact same too. Yes. That's so cool. Good old MX-5s. Dude, look at this. This high ace is sick. Yes, bro. So yeah, that's it from Foodie Speedway. A little bit of race cars and some drifting and whatnot. 
it was pretty cool seeing like all the different historical race cars that uh, were around the place. You reckon? <laughs> if you like the this video, then hit the like button or do a skid. Either way, yeah, do a skid and send the link to me or just post it in the comments because I love watching skids. Hit the subscribe button to watch the rest of my my yeah. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button to keep up to date with all the content that I put out from Japan. <laughs> <laughs>